I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. He received a call in June of 1994. Our oldest son was in New York City on a summer break with a job, and a detective told us four short sentences that changed our lives forever. That he was the victim of a robbery, he did not offer resistance, he was shot, he is deceased. We found out that the 15-year-old who killed our son, who was a double homicide that night, did so with a, what is called a Saturday Night Special, a junk gun that could fit into the palm of your hand. We also found out that 80% of these Saturday Night Specials were produced right here in an area within 50 miles of where we're sitting today. We found out that in California, as well as the United States, there are no safety standards for guns. And this amazed us because this is a consumer product that is designed that is designed to maim and to kill. And yet, we have safety standards for teddy bears and cribs and so on. We worked at the grassroots level to build support to get rid of these, these junk guns. And um, in that advocacy work, uh, we met uh, with uh, Los Amigos uh, that were meeting in, in Santa Ana. And at that time, there was a very high uh, gun death rate uh, uh, in Santa Ana and their youth were disproportionately affected by this uh, uh, gun epidemic which still is in effect today although uh, the gun rates have gone down. In meeting with uh, Los Amigos um, we became aware of their uh, project to uh, uh, develop a quilt, to, to make a quilt uh, and family members would make a piece of that quilt and then they would go to uh, various uh, sites where a death had occurred. And the visual impact uh, spoke to us as, a, uh, uh, as parents who had lost a young person to gun violence. We met with the families that had the patches on that quilt and we shared tears with those families and we felt that the quilt provided a sense of being able to heal with these families, that we knew the pain and that we had to move forward. We needed to, to uh, bring this message in a very profound way and we found that the quilt did that. And this was all based on the concept of prevention, this was all based upon the concept of Let's try and have people not have to walk in our shoes. The quilt played a key part of bringing home the pain of the loss and the need to step forward and address the situation. Over the years, not only have we used the quilt in the significance of going after Saturday Night Specials, but in 1999 there was a number of pieces of legislation that we have worked on based upon the quilt that were passed. Uh, we accomplished something. We actually got safety standards. We, we uh, got rid of uh, assault weapons in uh, the state of California. One of the comments that I heard about the quilt, you know, when we were draping it, and that, you know, the words, well, oh, this is, this is so long. This is too long. Or it doesn't fit. You know, it's too long. And, you know, that, that made the point. It's right. It is too long.